Welcome back to the Hybrid Church YouTube channel. So in today's class, we're going to be learning the concluding part of our overbust process. We already made the drafting. So if you have not seen that, you can check it out in there. There's a link in the comment section to watch the drafting. So today we'll be learning the sewing parts and I'm going to make this as explanatory as possible. If this is something you like to learn, kindly stay tuned to the end of this tutorial. Thank you. I have shredded as the dots now and you can clearly see the ones that are not wanted so those are the parts we are going to take out so before you cut it you can label this as well as well this is the center front this is the middle front and this is the side front so if you want to add allowances remember there are no allowance on this pattern there is no same allowance on this pattern so if you want to add allowances to your pattern, you can just get a fresh paper and then you are going to trace out what you have here on this on that pattern and then you can add your allowances. So that way you will be able to even keep this original pattern without cutting it out. But for me, this is just a tutorial. So I'm going to be cutting out this pattern. I'll add the allowances to my fabric when I'm cutting on my fabric. But if you don't want to cut out this pattern, you can just trace out each of these, each of these lines, okay? And then you add your necessary allowances to them. But like I said, for me, I'm not, I'm going to just cut this out and then add my, allowance when I'm transferring it to my fabric so I'm already cutting the back that, that is the next one for the back so for the back what we are cutting out is the opening for the corset the shaded parts are the ones that we don't want okay this is together I just created this I let open so that you understand what I'm talking about. We are not cutting that hard. That's why I'm cutting this on camera. So here what we are picking out is the dots on this side. Okay, so that's our center front. So here I'm going to take out this dot as well. So that we can have the middle front so here before you cut it you can indicate this as your up or you just use and have just to indicate that this is the upper part all this is necessary especially if your pattern looks similar after cutting after cutting this out now you may not know the one that is on the upper part and the one on the lower part so you have to just put whatever indication that will help you to remember before you cut out the patterns so now the the back patterns are cut out i'm going to go ahead and cut out the front as well So now this is what it looks like as a cutting and this is the center front, the middle front, side front, the, this is the side back, the middle back and the center back. So now I'm going to go ahead and cut the fabric. Remember to add your allowances all around because this pattern does not have any allowance in it. So I have gone ahead to cut it out you can see i added my allowances by this side 
so for the lining i'm going to i cut the lining as well i cut my fabric and my lining so for the lining i'm going to cut a wording and then i'm going to sew it so i'll fix the wording to it i'll fix interfacing to the lining as well fix the wording and then i'm going to bring it back to show us how we're going to sew it so you can see i have added wording to the um estate to the lining as well and then for the center front and side front i added wording to it just the center front and side front i did not add to the just center front and middle front i did not have to decide front so the next thing now is to take this to the sewing machine and then we start to join them together okay so we join them together like this i'm going to do the same thing for the back as well so i still have my paper hand so that's going to guide me when i'm sewing it so that i'm not going to get confused okay So now I take it to the machine and sew. I'm going to take it to the sewing machine and sew. So let me just detach it to show you what I'm doing. Okay. I just detached the front. Now these are the main fabric. I'm going to join them like this. And then this is the side front. I'm going to join it, make the middle front. Then I'm going to pick the sides as well and then join to the side that corresponds. So you can see how I'm arranging it. So by the time you have joined this, all five of the fronts will be joined together. So you do the same thing for the lining. I repeat the same process for the back. So I'll take it to the same machine now and sew on half an inch because that's the allowance that I left. So I've gone ahead to join it. Then after joining it, you're going to iron your seam open like this. You can see. So this is the back. This is one of the back. This is another one for the lining. So this is it for the main fabric. These are the two back for the main fabric. You're going to iron is open as well you're going to iron your seam lines open just like this and then for the front this is the main fabric for the front okay you iron open your seams as well and then this is the lining for the front this is the lining you iron the seam open as well so the next thing we're going to do now is to cage the bust area for the front and i'm going to be using this line bony the soybean bony to do this caging so depending on how structured you want it to be you can make your caging as full as you want but the important point that you need to note first you can see this is the bust area you can see the bust area so this nipple this across the nipple point you need to mark that point so here now i'm using a marker so that you can see what i'm doing very well so i can see our wording stops on this middle front you can see this is the side front it does not have so i'm not going to, my caging is going to stop where the areas that i have this wording so here i have marked out the the mid part okay so after marking the mid part, you can just go ahead and then put a cage on the two sides. But I want it really structured. So here I'm going to like divide what I have here into two and then create another one here to this side as well. Okay, help you see what I'm doing. I'll do the same thing on this side as well. I'm going to like divide it into two and then mark to the side as well so after that we're going to be having one on the under bust and then another one here on the neckline area so that so the one on the under bust here i'm going to try to connect it from here like this and then to the other side like that as well so we have done the horizontal one so vertically 
I'm going to get the center front. That's the center foot here. That's the center of the pattern. And then I'm going to put a, a bone in there as well. So here, I'm going to divide that into two. And then put one here. Put one here as well. I'm going to put one on the on the bustier line there and then on this side i'm going to divide this side and put another one there okay so now i'll take you to the sewing machine i have a tutorial on how you can do this already on the channel so you can check it out so i'll start sewing my boning on heat and then when i'm done doing that i'm going to bring it back for us to continue to the next stage okay so i've done the caging this is what it looks like on the right side and this is what it looks like on the wrong side so you just follow the lines just like i explained you follow the lines that we created so now we used um you can see it's very strong we used boning to achieve this caging that we have here so in order for it to look soft so that by the time we place it on the the um the main fabric is going to have some form of flesh to it so i'm going to flesh it out with um, fiber okay so to do this you're going to put your your um, hemming gum there is a wider hemming gum but right now i don't have access to that it's currently not with me here so i'm going to just manage this um one inch the regular one that you know but if you can get the wider one it will make the work easier for you so i'll just cut it in bit and just lay it just the way we normally use some people even use gum but i prefer this so i'm just going to lay it on the area just this area that's where we're adding it to the area that we added the bond to so we just want to use it to flesh it out so i'm going to place it you can see that i have placed it on the area that i need so now i'm going to lay this on it okay and then i'm going to use my hot iron iron it out so with the help of this bust ham so that my bust will still maintain its shape so i'll go ahead now and gum this so you can do this in one or two layers just so that you have what you want okay so i have added this and this is what we have okay so this is the right side and this is the part we added it to so i'm going to set the lining aside now and add bone into the main bodies okay so i have already wrapped my boning i have a tutorial on how to do that as well you can check it out so i'm going to add as many as possible the more bones you had the more structured your your corset is going to come so i'm going to be putting one here i probably put one in between this and the bust line i'm going to be putting on the bust line as well i'm going to just put as much as you need so i'll go ahead and do that and then for the back as well i'm going to add to the back also so you had as many as you need to your back i'm going to put the dark lines i'm going to put where i'm going to put my highlights to strengthen that part as well i'm going to put by this side as well so i'll do all of this now and then i'm going to bring it back to shoes so i've gone ahead to hide my bone and you can see you can hide more by this side if you want but this is where it looks like on the wrong side so i'll go ahead now and iron it well so after ironing it i'm going to place the lining and the main fabric on each other like this and then i'm going to sew it on the neckline area as well as this ham hood the little ham hood that we have there so that i can turn it so i'll do that now and bring it back to the as well okay so i'm gonna head to turn the neckline please if you are working with yours use a lining that corresponds with your the color of your fabric okay so now this is what we have this is what it looks like on the inside and this is what it looks like on the outer part so i'm gonna head to turn the neckline and the hamper so 
So this is how the inside looks like when you're making yours. Please use a lining color that corresponds with your fabric. This is a tutorial. So you go ahead and iron it properly. And this is what it looks like so far. This is the bust area. You can see how properly caged it is. And this is the waistline and the hem. So now I'll set this aside as well and then work on the back. So for the back, I've added my boning channels to it as well. You add as many as you want. I just added on the dark lines, but you can add more. You can add on this by the sides as well. Just had enough. The more you add your bones, the more structured it's going to look like. So now for the lining, I'm going to be adding to this side. Remember, this is where my eyelids go, so I have marked that. I'm going to place one bone here. I'm going to place another one on the other side, leaving the center for the highlight. So the bone is just to strengthen what I have there. So I'm just placing one around here. You can see. I still have enough allowance, a little allowance to turn the fabric. So after that, I'm going to be placing another one on this side. And after placing the bone, I'm going to place my own lining against the main fabric and then I'm going to sorry I'm trying to look for the lining that corresponds okay so here it is I'm going to place the lining against the main fabric and then I'll turn it on the neckline area and the center front leaving this side and the hem so I'll do this now Okay, so I have gone ahead to do this. I have turned it with lining to top stitch on the on this so that it's going to hold the lining and the main fabric together. I'm going to top stitch on this channel on the bony that I created for the highlight. So you iron it well, and then the next thing to do is to bring the front and back together, and then you're going to join them. So you join it separately, you open it up like this, and then you sew your main fabric separately, then you find a way to sew the lining with the half an inch allowance that you left. So you do this for the two sides. So once they're together, we're just going to turn the hem and the corset is ready. So I'll go ahead and join the sides for the two now. I'm going to go back to show you. So I have gone ahead to join the sides, you can see, and I've also made my eyelids go. So you join it in such a way that your lining is going to be separate from your main fabric. You can see that it is separate. We have our lining separately and the main fabric separately. This is what it looks like on the inside and this is what the outside looks like. So the last thing to do now is to cut, um, I'm going to cut the fire with my remaining fabric. My left over fabric here. I'm going to cut it in form of a bias and then I'm going to use it to tape the hem. Okay, so you just sew it and then tape it inwards like this so that you can have the neat finish at the hem as well. So after this, we take it to the mannequin and then we lace it up so that we can see what we have. But for now, this is what our beautiful corset is looking like. You can see how beautiful and structured this is. If you want, you can also add a bony by the side here. If you want it to even strengthen it more on the side, you can just fix a bony and then sew it together so that it can even hold the lining and the main fabric. So I'll go ahead and take the hem now and then I'm going to bring it back to show us what we have. So this is what it looks like after taping the hem of the blouse. So you just cut like a bias with your fabric and then use it to turn the hem so that the hem can be neatly finished and then your corset is going to be as neat as possible. So I'm going to just put it on the mannequin now. You can see how beautiful this is looking and how well laid and structured it is i hope you enjoyed making this beautiful tutorial with you if you enjoyed it let us in the comment section kindly comment share with your friends and i'll see you in the next one